What are some guy secrets girls don't know about? Most of the answers in this thread revolve around men are simple. Men don't gossip. Or men don't care about most things. ETC. And that they are just nice. Straightforward creatures. While this may be true for the majority, I do hope that guys reading this thread don't put this male simplicity on a pedestal. It doesn't make you less of a man if you don't experience that blank state of mind as often as the comments suggest men do. Or if you are actually interested in your friends lives and like the occasional light gossip. Or if you care about where to go for dinner. You can worry about stuff and have strong opinions too. Being the little spoon is also nice. The word dude has something like 150 different meanings. Depending on how you say it. It is a genderless term and is applicable in almost any situation. Maybe not everyone does this. But most of my friends that have grown out their beard and cut it off have made the Hitler stash. Only for a few moments though. Not sure if it's a secret but I feel guys appreciate body compliments infinitely times more than facial features and they will possibly remember the body one forever. If a guy goes out with other guys. Chances are when he says they talked about nothing they actually did talk about nothing interesting. No gossip. No how's the family. It just tends to be talking about some sort of shared interest or hobby and a lot of banter. And when you ask him I can almost guarantee that he remembers almost none of the content of the 5 hour conversation they've been having. Sometimes. You need to spell it out for us. The closer we are with another dude. The trasher and worst we talk to each other. I. E. Once a friend suffered an accident, smalls bruises in his arms, and the nicer text he got was you even sucks at crashing a car. Full stop. When I'm in the middle of the night our echolocation is increased tenfold and we have the ability to know where the stream is hitting in complete darkness. This thread makes me feel so understood. Guys like being touched. I like it when a lady keeps her hand on my thigh when we're driving. Or rubbing my head when we're laying on the couch. Pretty much just any contact. We don't need special mood. Candles. Music for wanking. Usually it happens cause we were scratching our balls. Accidentally graze it when putting the remote down. Might as well finish the job. I think it's not often addressed that guys. Just like girls. Also deal with their fair share of insecurities. Body dysmorphia. And pressures from society to act and look a certain way. It's just that openly talking about it and dealing with those emotions is more shameful and less accepted. We get boner all the time. And no most of them are not S or boner. We just get them. Randomly waking up at night. With boner of course. Waiting at waiting room for your doctor's appointment. Boom boner. Middle of a serious office meeting. Boner out of nowhere. It's not always S or all. And when we get in the kinky mood. Can't think of anything else before calming the horse. Man I had a 2 hour erection while having iron food poisoning. We're scared to break down. Sometimes when it feels like the whole world is on your shoulders it's scarier to think what would happen if you asked for help and no one knew what to do rather than asking for help at all. I miss being a kid. Your beach and swimsuit photos on the internet most likely have been fapping material for at least one guy. We love cuddling. We love someone thinking about us too and doing random acts of kindness. We appreciate help with things even though sometimes we may not ask for it. We don't pick up on subtle hints that you are interested in us. If you want to get a guy's attention you pretty much have to either hit him over the head or strip right in front of him and rub yourself all over him. We can be just as self-conscious as you. If we're dating and planning on hanging out tonight I'm going to rub one out in the morning just in case we have SSI time so that I don't blow my load in the first minute. The male or guess M starts with come and end several seconds later. If you stay on the cock after we finish. Wife. Why didn't you tell me Jeff was having a baby? Me. Oh yeah. I forgot. Wife. When did he tell you? Me. 
Shrug. A few months ago or so. Wife. I don't know how you don't tell me these things immediately. Me. We probably started talking about how strong gorillas are and I forgot. Mostly nothing is that important to us. Except how strong gorillas are. That is crazy. Did it. Holy sknikes. I'm just a simple man that loves him some primates. Thank you for the gold kind stranger. We still get lonely and fear we'll never find someone. Comma maybe I'm a just a PSSY. That's the kind of deal with your own. Don't be a cribby. Man up attitude that guys are taught. And it's damn harmful. You're not a PSSY for having feelings of loneliness and worries about a lonely future. I'm a guy myself BTW. If we randomly surprise you with flowers or some gift for no reason. It doesn't mean there is an ulterior motive or that we are trying to get forgiveness for something. So when you make a big deal and try to roast us with questioning. Or say things like wow. Why can't you be more like this more often? Comma. All you are doing is sending the signal to the man's brain do not do the thing again that brings a suspicion on you. Full stop. Besides. We know if it becomes expected. Then it becomes a chore and we are treated as some sort of failure when we don't do it. If you come to our house and the bathroom is spotless. Including the sides and area around the back of the toilet. You can rest assured that you are well liked and high in the pantheon rankings. If the bathroom is half acid. You are low ranked and just passing through. Non-family members. We have probably beat off to you at least once. E you no way. We're too good of friends. Yes way. And it doesn't mean we actually want to have sx with you. We put our hands in our jeans pockets to scratch our balls properly. Edit. We also pretend that we're pulling out a phone or keys 10 seconds after to hide the fact in question. We all think our dicks are small until we receive external confirmation. Edit. To everyone replying that you've always known that your dick was huge. I'm also sorry for your loss. There is no underlying message in what I just told you. What I said is what I meant. I'm in agreement with a lot of the other comments I've seen. Sincere compliments mean the most. When we tell you we're trying to lose weight. We aren't asking you to compliment our bodies. We're bringing it up because our uncles have quadruple bypasses and the doctor told us we have high blood pressure. Comma oh I love dad bods. No lady. We're gonna die. Edit. I didn't make this comment for y'all to tell me how much you hate dad bods and fat people. Sure. Almost nobody ever compliments men. A simple compliment can make a guy's weak. We're starved for it. Edit. Holy crap. My poor. Poor inbox. I guess I hit a nerve. Thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. And apologies for not replying to everyone. Relating very hard with these posts right now brothers. When we tell you about the pain of being hit and the balls we are not exaggerating. Sometimes we get up and our pants squeeze them a little and it hurts and makes us feel nauseous. We like to be spoiled sometimes. Enjoy hearing we're handsome. Like hearing our efforts are appreciated. Would like to feel secure. 2. There usually isn't a meaning behind how we act. Take it at face value for what it is. Drives me insane that my wife and her friend overanalyze every little comment or text about the guys her friend dates. If he is an asshole, He is an asshole. When you ask does this outfit look nice and we say yes to all 13 of them. It's not that we're lying. It's usually that we don't care what you wear. Edit. Other people are better at conveying messages better so to specify. By dot care I mean I have no idea about fashion and you look great no matter what. We will open the hood of the car and stare at the engine even if we have no clue where that noise is coming from or what it means. After a couple minutes of that. We'll announce that it might be a random part we remember the name of and it should be checked out by a mechanic. Guys don't like the chase. That doesn't mean you need to be easy. But girls who play hard to get and will blow a guy off and ignore him and because guys love the challenge. 
All you're doing is probably eyeing him off and making him less interested. We take a long time to shower because... Dot. We're trying to redirect the stream of water toward the clumps of your hair on the wall. Cause that's gross to look at. It takes a while without an adjustable shower head. Edit. This has gained a strange amount of attention. So I just want to say that we do have a filter sieve thing we put over the drain to catch all the hair. But there is still hair on the wall for some reason. And it is our duty to splish and splash so each strand squiggles down like a worm on a water slide. I just cup some water in my hands and just kind of haphazardly throw water at the hair until it slides down. That dating and dealing with rejection makes a lot of men feel unwanted and unattractive. My boyfriend told me about the apparently euphoric feeling of unsticking your balls from your inner thigh. That was a new one. You know the feeling you get from peeling the plastic off a new phone? Yeah. That. But with your balls. Fathers often don't teach sons about SX. They just expect sons to learn it elsewhere. When you ask what are you thinking about it's often popular culture. Video games. Comics. Movies. Science and if a F-35 could defeat a red dragon. We can spend hours with our best friends and not say anything of significance. This conversation happens once a month. Comma what did you guys talk about? Nothing. Comma how's his wife? IDK. Good I think. Comma are his kids enjoying their new school? What new school? Comma you spent 6 hours with him. You really talked about nothing exciting? Sometimes when we pee it comes out in two streams. There are significantly fewer secrets than you think. The nothing box. It does exist. And I open it and leave it open often. It allows me to literally not think. There's also the battle box where I daydream space. Naval. Land. Air. Whatever battles. Guns. Explosions. Star destroyers blasting pathetic rebel scum. My own personal cinema. For the Empire. Edit. Thanks for the gold mysterious stranger. But I must confess. I stole the nothing box explanation from a similar thread months and months ago. Men loves when woman happy. Why say more word when few word do trick? Swamp ass. Down here in Florida. That is everyone's secret. Sometimes we really are just thinking about nothing important. Just staring off into space imagining what we'd do if ninjas suddenly attack this room. When guys hang out. All we do is hang out. No gossip involved, usually. If I am spending the night at a buddy's house playing LAN. That's all we are doing. We ain't talking about what happened at schoolwork etc. I once worked with a guy for 3 years and never learned his name. Best friend I ever had. We still never talk sometimes. From about 15 to 21. We are basically hiding our erection constantly. We seriously wish you would just order your own effing fries. I ordered a large fry. And that means I damned well intend to eat a large fry. From reading these comments I feel like every guy, including myself, is going through some form of depression. I get why people want men in particular to open up about their feelings more often. This is so relatable it's crazy. Or maybe it's just because we're all guys. We almost never get compliments on the street. And we don't feel they are annoying. Not up equals recognition. Not down equals respect. I always thought it was not up for friends. Not down for everyone else. We meet in large groups and discuss how we can make women do the same work for less pay. When your profile picture is taken from above looking down at you we know what that means. Just because I am talking to you doesn't mean I'm interested or attracted to you. The amount of times women scoff and or are weirded out when I'm just trying to communicate as a human being to another. Is quite frustrating. We're not afraid of commitment. We're afraid of women who want to be our dependents rather than our partners. Depression hits us hard also. 
We just tend to bury it so most people have no idea what's going on with us. We in fact. Cannot read women's minds. Just as women can't read ours. Iron communication is key. Now my highest comment is about iron communication. Literally and figuratively. Grilling is not complicated. At all. It is actually very simple. It is usually an excuse to stand outside with a cold beer while my wife is inside doing the other 90% of the work for the meal. When women want you to do something. Mom well your sister is going here and your other sister is going here but your dad is going here and needs to be there at this time and they all have to be dropped off at this time so he can't do it and I'll be here for now but then I won't be because. When all I need to hear is. I need you to drop your sister off at this place at this time. We can't process your brain being spewed out 2 miles a minute. We just want to know our part. I will let you tell your whole explanation because I know you're just getting it to make sense in your head. Sometimes my eyes water up randomly. And I'm not sad or anything. All I can think is damn. Now everyone will think I am crying. We don't play video games to be childish. Sometimes after a hard day it feels great to win or be good at something. It helps us keep up with friends. Or be social with strangers. Like TV or social media it's an escape. But much more interactive and fun. My wife didn't understand why I still played video games. Until I explained it was the perfect way to relax and still feel like I'm accomplishing something. It keeps me more interested than watching TV or Facebook. I only play 3-4 hours a week. If a guy says he's not thinking about anything. He really means it. My wife will frequently ask what is going on. Believing that I have something weighing on my mind or that I am upset. But nope. Mind is blank. Quiet is just sometimes nice. That time I pulled over on the side of the road and walked into the bushes to pee. I broke down and cried. I collected myself and came back to the car like nothing happened. And I will never speak of it to anyone. Men break all the time. Men express emotions all the time. We lose confidence and fold. But more than likely you will never see that happen. Because to some men. The only thing worse than losing your is publicly losing your. Women don't seem to suffer from this particular affliction. Men are often viewed as cold robotic or without emotional maturity. When in fact we just can't let the tribe see us break. We regularly give each other blow jobs. But we call them bro jobs. Typically after we finish we crack jokes to break any lingering tension. Sometimes. Men can be emotional too. It does hurt when a girl leads you on and it does hurt when she doesn't tell you the truth. A lot of girls try to play it off as something a guy just has to take. But it can actually affect us. We take extra long to poop so we can sit on reddit without being bothered. A lot of us are lonely and depressed as. We've checked out your mother to see what you're gonna look like when you're older. When we don't wanna have sx it isn't because we're cheating or we don't find you attractive. It's usually cause we just jerked it. And no. I'm not jerking it because I don't want to have sx with you. It's because I'm home for 2 hours by myself and it's a great way to pass 20 minutes. Who what? Look at Mr. 20 minutes here. Some of us barely get the NSFW sub open and a handful of paper towels before the geyser erupts. Must be nice. We don't miss the toilet seat on purpose or have bad aim. Sometimes the stream is hard to direct. And sometimes there's more than one. We rarely discuss our sx lives with other men. The most we are likely to say is yeah we banged if it's a one time thing and nothing if we are in a relationship. Never go into detail. It's doing each other a favor because we know the other person doesn't want to hear that. Also. Sometimes when a gf cries and I hug her. I almost always get to boner. We m stir but more than you think. No. More than that. No. More. Seriously. More than that even. What's inside Rubik's cubes? They really think guys like to actually solve them just for the sake of it ha ha ha. 
peeing on the side of the toilet bowl to make less noise. Blue balls are real. And they hurt. But it's not your fault. But they are real. And they do hurt. We have all the same worries. Needs. Self-doubt. Hopes. Dreams. Fears as women do. We cry at movies. We often get joy out of watching happy children. We are happy to people succeed and feel bad when people fail. It's just we've been trained over the course of our entire life to hold that in. Keep it hidden lest someone think we're something less than a man. Sharing any of that with someone is a very intimate personal act that makes us feel vulnerable. The vulnerability of someone judging us for things that are universally human but have been beaten to our heads are wrong to do because of who we are. If a man tells you stuff about how he's feeling emotionally or if he's upset or scared or self-conscious, he is placing a lot of trust in you. This isn't like one of your girlfriends venting on a girl's day. This is a huge show of trust and love so please ladies, treat it as such. I know this kind of thing might seem like no big deal for a lot of you. But for us guys. It's huge. Many men in relationships are aware that we have different software. So they'll try to accommodate to keep the lady happy accommodating to her software. Useless fight avoidance mode. Example. Huh? Remember I told you we were doing this thing? Him. I know as a fact that she never told me but I'll answer. I'm sure honey. But could you remind me please? Example 2. Huh? You lost my car keys again. Why are you so careless? Him. I know as a fact I never touched those keys but I'll answer. Sorry darling. I'll help you find them. Example 3. Huh? What do you think about the new flower pot in the kitchen? Him. I have no one clue that existed. But I'll answer. I thought it was cute. It gives a different feel to the room. Great job darling her. I knew you'd liked it. I could go on and on. But this is a huge reason a lot of marriages fail. Young men don't seem to comply with useless fight avoidance mode. I hope it changes for the best. We don't want to hear about ex-boyfriends. Not even the negatives. I could be way off base here. But. Most guys truly do want women to be successful and treated equally. Especially here in America. The people who don't are just assholes. If it doesn't need to be done right now. I probably won't do it right now. I still said I'd do it. So stop pestering me. That makes me want to do it even less. There's actually two penises. One is public the other is stored inside until needed. Dick size is measured from the center of the butthole. Let me have my sports and hobbies. I need to stay fit and make stuff. E man. You stick. Make tool. Chase thing. Feel good. Come home. Make SX. Eat food. Rest. Enjoy life. Die. Men really aren't totally suitable for marriage until after 30. Generally. Some a little younger. Some a little older. Marry a guy right out of school. And prepare for growing pains. When I say. I don't care it means. To elaborate. I am filled with apathy. Being forced to contribute to the conversation or solution would be the only disagreeable outcome for me. We pee in the shower. Like. All the time. It's just convenient. We like surprise compliments presents too. Anytime we look stoic or deeply puzzled by something. It's probably just us remembering Burger King's shake em up fries and why would Burger King take them away from us. Nice try. Ladies. We frequently have a sniff at our gooch. Not really a secret. But you know that one. 50. Times when you dropped a subtle hint to your boyfriend and got mad when he didn't do anything? Yeah. We have no idea you ever dropped a hint. At all. We're not being apathetic. It's not that we don't care. We're just too socially dumb to get hints like that. This applies for friends and crushes as well. So don't bother. Decompression time. It's not a hostile thing. 
Coming in for work. I really like an hour of quiet. Preferably alone. Have to deal with people's problems all day the commute blah. Need a little time to calm down get out of work attack mode. No opinion will be given on any decision during this period. Threatening a man with sleeping on the couch is not a punishment. We actually like it. When my day is going okay that doesn't mean it's a bad thing and you have to apologize. It just means it's going like a regular old day, acker according to plan. There's nothing exciting about it. And there's nothing to be sad or mad about. I had went to dinner with my girlfriend years ago. And the server girl said wow I really like your shirt. I was glowing. It was indeed my favorite shirt. A really cool Boba Fett. That only lasted for a few minutes. Because she said the same goddamn thing to her next table that walked in. And it destroyed me. We have been watching PRN since we were about 12 years old and your 50 shades of grey stuff is JV team. After you and your bro argue. As soon as you hang out again it's all good. No issues. Till I am not a usual guy. I guess. I'm happy to talk about whatever. I don't want to bang even 5% of people I see me talk to. I like wearing ties. I think they make me look cute. I choose to never eat if it was sustainable. And I don't have the what other people think confidence. But everything annoying about balls is right. 100% accurate. We only want one thing and it's I'm disgusting. Only the common man will answer this question. So all of us. Edit. Just got back from work to see this being my most upvoted comment. The common folk are revolting. Thank you.